Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. You know, before I get started into my video, I just want to give a shout out to Simon. He left a message in the comments a week ago saying he's off to rehab. I just want to say, Simon, kudos to you. Kudos to you to do something about your drinking and getting your life in order. Because that's what this is all about. That's what my channel is about. It's about stopping drinking and having a better life, building awareness. And you know, Simon, kudos to you, man. Right on. Write a comment in one of my other videos or send me an email. Let me know how you're doing, okay? Let me know how you're doing. And maybe I'll share it again on, on this channel if it's all right with you, okay? So stick to it, take it one day at a time, and I hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Maybe you wanna come on my channel, that'd be terrific too. You're probably wondering why I'm carrying a pair of shoes in my hands right now while I'm talking to you. Well, this video is called When the Other Shoe Drops. And how many of us in recovery, when things start going well, we sort of start looking around. Holy shit, things are going too well. What's going on? What's going on? Like you get all panicky, get some anxiety going on because life is going too well or it's going too good, or there's no bullshit happening, no cops after you, or maybe all your bills are paid off, or maybe some girl gave you the wink, or some guy asked you out. Things are just going well, but you're looking for problems. You're just looking around like, what the hell is going on? And if you can identify with what I just said, you're not alone. You are not alone. That happened to me a lot in early recovery. When things were going well, I couldn't handle it. You know those videos you talk, you see on YouTube, you know, your, your sabotage success? It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. That when things were going good for me, I would sabotage it. I would look for chaos in my life. I would look for problems. I would start maybe gossiping. I do all this sort of negative behavior or negative things to make me feel grounded because when I was living a negative life or things were going on that were sort of negative, tugging and towing at me, I felt grounded. And that's one of the main problems with when you're having a good time in sobriety. We're not used to it. We are not used to having a good day or things going our way. I remember I was on unemployment. Unemployment said to me, they would train me and I got a job offer all in the same day. And in early recovery, I could, before that, I could never remember when two places, two good opportunities came up on the same day. And I was like 30 years old. I've never had that happen to me, never. It was like, how am I gonna screw this up? How, you know, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Always looking for the problem. But you know, that is normal for us. That is so normal, it's unbelievable. I came from a life, a childhood life that was, that was full of sh you know, traumatic for me. A lot of difficulties, a lot of chaos, a lot of ups and downs, no real stable, no, not a real stable home, a lot of fighting going on with mom and dad, stuff like that, and school wasn't that great. And then I started drinking and it's sort of the same life, right? You know, when are the cops gonna pull me over for drinking and driving? always fighting with somebody, ending up in jail, no money for the rent, always this kind of life that was always pulling at me or being blamed for things, you know, not showing up at work. Things like that were always happening in my addictive life. It was always chaos. It was always something negative pulling at me. And then when I silvered up or when I had no money to drink, I was thinking about it, or I was thinking about what's gonna happen to me negatively, or how am I gonna pay the rent? How am I gonna do this kind of stuff? All negative things were happening to me. All the time for very many years, believe it or not. There wasn't any time in my life that life was calm until I entered into recovery and I started applying the tools of recovery that were suggested to me that any time in my life there was any sort of calmness or serenity or peace. Like no cops after me, no woman yelling at me, no assault charges, those kind of things. And I was disoriented as hell. I really was. So if you feel like that, you're not the only one. A lot of us do. We are children of chaos. We love the chaos. And when it stops, we'll even go looking for it. Or maybe we'll even create it or hang around people that remind us of that because it makes us feel grounded. 
but I just want to let you know it's perfectly normal to feel disoriented when things are going well for you. The thing is, is try not to screw it up. Try not to ruin your day. Don't look for the bad news. Don't look for the chaos. Don't start it in your life. Don't look for things that are causing you difficulties. You just take it one day at a time, appreciate that day, have gratitude, and what happens eventually that you understand the ebbs and flows of life. And you understand that some days are just okay. We don't need to have the bullshit or the chaos in our lives. We can just have a very positive day, a, a you know, humdrum day, a day that things are just going well for us. And we don't need the chaos, but we have to get used to it. We have to get used to it. So identify it to yourself. Say, yeah, I'm having a great day. Things are fine. Don't make excuses for it, that having a great day. Just accept it for what it is. Don't, you don't have to tell anybody what's going on inside you. Just say you're having a great day. Somebody asks you, yeah, I'm having a great day. Things are fine. Things are good. And just appreciate what it is. But what it is, is that we are just not used to the other. We're, we're not used to calmness in our life. You know, we're trying to sabotage our success, sabotage our sobriety, sabotage our well-being because we are not used to having great days in recovery. That's what it's all about, man. It's about the gifts of the, the great life. It's about having a serene life, a life with no cops. It's about having a life, a harmonious home, a, a great life, a great job. It's about that. We start understanding that sobriety is possible, recovery is possible, having a full, happy, serene, and content life is possible. But when we start off and we get a glimpse of it, it doesn't feel that it's real. It doesn't feel normal to us. But that will become the normal and the negative and the bullshit will become the abnormal. You take things one day at a time, appreciate what you have, appreciate those days, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you something. If you're staying in recovery, you're working on your sobriety, you're gonna have many, many times in your recovery in your life that things are gonna happen. You're not gonna quite understand what's going on, but you're gonna feel terrific. It's gonna make you say to yourself, wow, this recovery is fantastic. I'm glad I don't drink or drug anymore. And I don't need those things to be happy, have a successful life and a contented life inside and out, okay? I wanna thank you very much at the end of the video. I wanna thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? And can you take another second and smash that like button? We'll see you all later. As I usually say, we're all in this together. Stay safe, stay sober. Ciao for now. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next week.